All right then, I am sorry, Mr. Slumbering Giant. I am sorry I disturbed you in the middle of your wonderful little session of trying to be one with the Earth after suffering seemingly eternally. But unfortunately, it is my job to deal with you. And most... Well, I might as well take advantage of the fact that I've got lightning and pine resin, so... Oh god, don't even think of it, you cheeky son of a whore! Well, we're gonna have an official take two. I do apologize for screwing up so amazingly so soon, but what can I say? I have my moments. Oh god! Within the blink of an eye did I get that right. And that as well, apparently. Uh-oh! Right then, let's actually pay attention to you this time. Let's actually give you the respect that you deserve. You are the last giant after all. Seeing as you could one-hit me if I wasn't on New Game Plus 10, I probably really should be respecting the fact that you can easily kill me just by brisking the- I've had a change of heart with the butterfly armor. All I've got to do is be patient and not get greedy as I just did there and almost get crushed by the big man's foot. I mean, good god, all you need to do is be patient with this lumbering thing. It is arguably the easiest boss in the game. Hell, not even arguably. I'd say it's just a fact at this point. It is the first one after all. Not even that, but the fact all you gotta do is stand underneath him to reap the benefits of survival. Now, I humbly request you don't do what you're currently doing. In fairness, I did make the request halfway through you bloody doing it, so can't really blame you for that. Oh good, it's almost broken! Oh, it's broken! Oh no, whatever will they do? It's not going to do, like, 10% extra damage now. Alright, I'm gonna have to lead you away from the wall like a bloody lost dog. Come on, I'd have a leash on you, but I'm afraid you're not too tame. That's more like it. Now all I'm gonna do is whittle away at your ankle like the Jason and the Argonauts monster, have all your life force ooze out of the back of it, and I have gotten myself killed by not respecting his attack patterns. That is entirely on me. I, again, predicted what he was going to do, and obviously got it wrong, instead of accounting for what he could do. But it's alright, because if nothing else has taught me patience so far, this. Will. Oh, for This guy really likes doing the jitterbug boogie on my face, doesn't he? It's nice and safely whittle away one hit at a time, not getting greedy. Sure, it'll take about 20 minutes, but at least we won't fail. Oh, you jolly green giant. I'm sure you were green at a time. I mean, look at you. You're faded and I can see green all over you. I know you were settling down for your eternal rest, but... What can I say? All I've got to do is respect every single thing you do by typically hitting the foot that lands as opposed to the one that's still there. That way I don't fall prey to being victimized by... by exactly what just happened, by clearly proving that my previous statement is completely void. We can work together. All we've got to do is get you to die a little bit sooner and everybody can go home happy. Myself included. I mean, you were just gonna settle down to die anyway. This is going completely to plan. You really like doing that same old stomp over and over- Oh, never mind, you've got a backstep on you. Fantastic. Ruin the pattern, why don't you? I was just getting, whoa, comfortable. That's an odd swerve. Hey, you're finally tearing your arm off! Now the chances of you killing me just went up by about tenfold because I'm probably to get cocky because you've got half health. Really don't appreciate the extra range you get when you tear your arm off. All I've got to do is nice and easily, and slowly might I add, whittle away at you like a flesh-eating disease, and seeing as you seem to be made of stone more than flesh, that may be a bit of a problem. I just rolled practically into that as opposed to away from it. How in the hell did that favour me? Oh, 
I'm going to do is be patient with you. Just a couple more slaps around the ankle and you will be as slim as a kangle. That's the stupidest thing I've ever said because I'm except with no sense, completely contradictory, and you're not even fat. So I don't know what I'm going for there. All I do know is, you're done diddly dun your rings, dead and bury. You can now go to your eternal rest. I have beaten you with a ladle. A kitchen instrument. Bested the last giant. And you... I just realised I was trying to block a sword with a ladle there. Can you just come over here, please? I'd like to best you as well. Bloody hell. The hollow soldier posed as much of a challenge. And that's not a knock at the giant. That's a knock at this pathetic excuse of a weapon. So, seeing as this is the quest for the blue flame as well as beating things with a ladle, I am afraid my job still isn't quite done and I still need to kill the pursuer with this thing. Yay. Alright, Mr. Wonderful Hunter of the Undead, let's see how much damage this does to you. Considerably more than it did to the giant, which makes sense because you're like a tenth of the size of him. Actually, that does round about the same amount of damage looking at it. Uh-oh. Actually, percentage-wise, that looks to do about the same amount of damage. Maybe I'm wrong. Nope, oh, well, I just stood there and ate light like a man. Way to go, eh, champion. See, the trick to you is just walking to your right as you bloody nonchalantly consistently go to the same right dash over and over again. There you go. Walk to the right and you, you're pretty much dead. Me strafing is your kryptonite. Never thought a boss could be so easily bested, but then again you are the second one in the game. Will you just do the three hit combo so I can actually bloody heal in peace? Or alternatively, do a little dash over there for no damn good reason. But see what, you've got to work with me on this one. I mean, bloody really. You've got to pose more of a threat than a challenge. You, I know you're the second boss and all, but this is a ladle. You have a sword and a shield. And by the way, I'm still wearing Haddle's armor. That's kind of pathetic considering the fact I only cheaped that out because I was fighting the giant. And Zeke has never actually hit me once. I guess that was just more of a lucky charm feeling than it was actually getting any kind of advantage. Even though I say that, he did actually hit me and I survived. Speaking of which, happened as soon as I said it with this guy. Are you fucking kidding me with that? I just need you to do the poopy dash forward. Oh, that'll work. I didn't even need to roll for that either. I don't know why he did. I always get so bloody temperamental with that move whenever I see it. God damn it, I'm sick of going through the motion to the Limp Biscuit song keep rolling. I just want you to do more moves that equal me having just have to walk to the right instead of rolling. Getting sick of wasting my stamina and opportunity to hit you. Any day you like now. That's the one. That's more like it. Just keep doing that about a thousand times and give it a year and you'll be dead. No, no, no Happy Gilmore swing success for you, you're not hitting me with that. That's it, you fall into the habit of using that more often. Glad to hear it. Oh, that did absolutely nothing. It's amazing how much you can get away with when fighting this boss. I mean, for the most part, when it comes to bosses, you tend to give them the respect they deserve and you just tend to evade everything as normally you would. When it comes to the easiest bosses and you're on New Game Plus 10 and you've fought it a dozen times, you just tend to stop caring and start rubbing up against it by walking. You then learn the supposed intricacies of the boss, which is standing a little bit to the right of it and walking forward, equals them hitting you typically 0% of the time. Come, Mr. Pursuer, keep doing- Oh, there you go, the blue blade of nothing! You can try and curse me with a blade that will never hit me. What a brilliant idea. Oh, for the love of lord, how many times have you used that? And how many times has it whiffed? A hundred percent. That's how bloody much. Well, at least I'm getting it easy for now. These are the quote-unquote easy bosses. I think these are the only two easy bosses it's going to be for me when using this bloody ladle. Everything else is going to punish me about as much as a torture chamber would in Game of Thrones. I'm not saying torture chambers anywhere else are quite kind, but Jesus, it's in the realm of George R.R. R. Martin. That thing's gonna bloody hurt. My one complaint with this bloody ladle so far is the lack of range. I mean, this weapon is useless all around. I mean, I'm not saying you can't beat things with it, I already have done. But the fact it has zero range, it takes so long to bloody hit people, and, you know, the fact it has a massive 20 damage base, 40 when fully buffed, and even with mundane you can only get up to, like, 200, assuming you have enough patience to level your stats for that long. Well, at least I got a vacation with these bosses, doing absolutely zilch zip zero nada. Now, whatever you do, Mr. Pursuer, you've got to promise me you won't come back in the throne room and have a clone with you. I don't want to be fighting the Clone Wars with Boba Sewer, alright? Promise me that, please. Oh my 
Giddy and funny. I almost got Happy Gilmore right off the bloody ledge. Good thing you just went ahead and stood still like a freaking idiot for so long. You just gave me all the time in the world to polish up my ladle, give out some gruel to the orphans, and then beat you to death with it. Thank you. And you're done. The mighty pursuer. The hunter of the undead. Bested by a ladle. Yes, I'm going to give a speech for every single boss I beat with this thing. It's just... So embarrassing! And there you go, one blue flame of many completed! Do bear in mind, I'll also be doing certain bosses that aren't linked to these flames within this challenge as well. For instance, the Dark Lurker. Well, some semblance of progress. That progress will likely be stunted on the next boss I fight. <laughs> And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, then don't forget to leave a like to broadcast the fact that you'd like to see more from this specific series. And if you enjoyed it to the point where you'd actually want to see more from this series, or this channel in general, then don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future installments. And should the sub boxes be failing you, as they do for most, then feel free to bookmark my video page and check back daily, as that's how often I provide content to you. Or alternatively, you you could follow me on any respective social media service you should desire as I update them all regularly with my videos as this site isn't actually known to be good at doing its job. So as always, your viewership and YouTube support will always be infinitely appreciated. And assuming you do indeed want to see more from me and the content I provide, then I will see you in the next video.